Ah, so let's start. My name is Michal Konečny. I'm working for Fedora CP team, which is taking care of the infrastructure and building system. And I'm also maintainer of releasemaintaining.org, which I will talk about now. Okay, here you can see some agenda. We will go through the basics. We will go through the parts of the release monitoring and the integration to package workflow, the Fedora package workflow. Okay, here, because the matrix monitoring.org is actually magical world, here is the representation how I see it when I'm writing the blog post about it. You could read them in the Fedora community blog. I have the references at the end. And above it, somewhere is floating uh, part of it that is making the connection between the monitoring.org and the Fedora itself. Okay, so some basics. What is actually release monitoring.org? It has uh, two applications. One is Anitya, which uh, provides the web interface for the users and for the admins. Uh, you could add projects here. You could uh, do plenty of uh, interaction with it. It automatically checks for new releases of the projects that are in the database. And it's sending federal messages when new version is received. For those of you who don't know what federal message is, it's a message bus used in the federal infrastructure. The second part is the new hotness, which is consumer of these messages, and it uh, listens to the images, uh, messages emitted, uh, emitted by Anitya. It creates or updates Bugzilla, which is uh, your issue tracker when new release is found, so the uh, packager is notified about the new version. And it could even start a scratch build for use, which is uh, actually tries if the package could be built without uh, anything, just bump of the version. Uh, let's look at Danita, where the magic is happening. So, still, first, some numbers. First commit in the Anitya repository was 28 November 2013. Uh, I'm maintainer of it for two years, so I don't know uh, the history of it, but uh, I could tell what is happening right now. The first release was uh, a year later. Uh, it took some time to actually make it in something that could be published. Uh, the contributions, we have uh, almost 2,000 commits in the repository from uh, above 50 contributors. We have almost half thousand issues. The plenty of them are closed. Current version is uh, 0 0.18.0. Uh, I'm currently working on 1.0 because uh, it's major enough to actually have major version. Uh, the number of projects that are watched by releasemonitoring.org are above uh, 126,000. Uh, it's more because uh, when I looked uh, today, it's actually uh, 100 projects more. Uh, just uh, for the info, the, the we have uh, to open source, we have uh, the 300 mapped packages. Uh, there are Three, uh, three distributions uh, that are marked open source. I'm not sure uh, which exactly because I'm not really uh, watching the open source, uh, open source uh, situation. And uh, to, uh, to compare for Fedora, we have uh, above uh, almost 2,000 packages that are mapped to the projects that are mapped to the Fedora itself. Okay, here we can see what you can do actually with Anitya. As a user, you could add new project, add new distribution, edit project, flag project, which means that you will mark it for the admin to check if it's uh, correct and you will follow with a reason. Uh, you could, we could add new mapping. Uh, we could add new mapping, which uh, is actually the mapping of the project to the distribution itself to the packaging distribution. Uh, we have uh, admin role, 
admins could do the things that are allowed only the for the users that are experienced because uh, we don't want the user that will just log in to delete projects, delete uh, the mappings. If they want to do something like this, they could flag the project. Uh, the Anika takes uh, information from the new version checker, which is uh, checking for the new version of every project that is there. And you could see anything uh, that happens in, in the Anika. It uh, also has libraries IO consumer. Libraries IO is a uh, web that is uh, watching for the new releases uh, on uh, various uh, backends. Uh, and uh, this could also create uh, new projects automatically if uh, you we are interested in the uh, in the uh, project that uh, is uh, reported from the cons consumer. And uh, the Anitya is communicating with Fedora messaging broker, which uh, is uh, sending messages about almost everything that is uh, done in the Anitya itself. Uh, so the current situation is that we have a milestone 1.0 in work. You could see the link to the milestone itself and you could uh, look at it. Uh, Anita is also part of the Hectoberfest event. So if anybody wants to help with it, it's great time to start. And then we have the new hotness. This is the floating island in the realm of magic. It creates connection between the Fedora itself and uh, the RedisMonitoring.org. First commit was 13 March 2014. First release was 0.1.2. Not sure why they started with this, but I didn't find any older tag in the repository. Uh, we have uh, for uh, uh, above 400 commits from 22 contributors, uh, 140 issues, and most of them are closed. Current version is 0.13.1. I have uh, 0.2 ready because uh, uh, there was some issues, but uh, right now I'm waiting for the staging environment uh, to get back uh, in the uh, in the Fedora infra because we uh, we are we finished the data center move recently and still the, doesn't have any everything in tip top shape. So here you can see how the new hotness is communicating. It's communicating with plenty of uh, external services, which is uh, why it is uh, relatively smaller code base but complex in. Uh, when you need to, the, to do something, you actually need uh, plenty of uh, access to external system. This is why I'm waiting for the staging itself, because I it's hard to actually test it without the staging environment. Um, the input to the new hotness is actually the message. Uh, it listens for the Anita message, as I said. It even communicates with the Anitya because if uh, there is a new mapping created for the project, it uh, says it says Anitya check for a new version, and if there is any, it just uh, uh, works with the message for the new version. It's checking with uh, MD API, which is um, metadata API. It's uh, to this is uh, to get information about the package and the latest version. Uh, we, it communicates with PDC, which uh, tells us uh, if the package is actually active. Uh, we communicating with Pagure, which is uh, or uh, which uh, had a talk here, I think, or will will have. I'm not sure. Uh, the Pagur is uh, our platform for uh, source uh, source. Uh, uh, a source kit and uh, the, you can set the notification uh, preferences in there and the new hotness is uh, taking the, this 
and see if it could it should uh, just notify the user not notify him or just uh, or notify him and start the scratch build the scratch build is done in the koji which is the which is one of the last boxes you could see here the koji is your build platform and we are using it for building uh, every package in fedora uh, the last one that is communicating with is Bugzilla, which uh, is uh, creating the tickets for the for the Bugzilla itself, for the maintainer to see. Okay, the current situation is uh, milestone 1.0, same as in Anita. I want them to uh, to be more mature, and uh, it uh, makes sense to have them bo both in the same versioning. Uh, the new hotness is also part of the Hectoberfest event. Uh, it's more complex, but uh, you could uh, actually learn a few things about uh, Fedora infra infrastructure if you are interested. The last part I want to talk about is the integration to packager workflow. This is where the magic happens and it's uh, not that hard, but uh, it's uh, plenty of manual things. Uh, the packager needs to request a repo for a new package. Uh, this is then created in Pagur. Then the component is created in Bugzilla, which uh, allows the user to actually receive uh, anything for the package, any issue. Then he creates project in the Anitya. And if there is a new version, it uh, notifies the new hotness and new hotness creates a ticket in Baxilla. This is the this is not the whole package workflow, this is just part of it, uh, just the one that is uh, actually managed by the release monitoring.org. Okay, I have some demo. I hope it will be doable in this state. Uh, okay. Uh, Okay. Could you still hear me, <laughs> or do I talking to myself? I can hear you. You're fine. Oh, okay, fine. You're doing well, man. I'm surprised. You know, you're everything is uh, working despite you know what you said was a poor connection. Uh, I wasn't sure. This is why I, uh, as I said, I'm just in some parking lot, so <laughs> it's not really uh you can't really see uh, know if there will be good connection ah, okay can you see the anitya right now yep ah, okay so this is the anitya this is what you will see if uh, you will connect to it i just have few options that are not uh, available to uh, to the users just uh, then there's man user management and a flag system this uh, is uh, only for the admins to see. Uh, as you can see, there are more projects than I uh, just uh, said because uh, the projects are get, um, are created day to day. I uh, tried to get some stats today and I found out that we are creating uh, 10 projects per day uh, in most of, most of the time it's uh, more or less but then it's a good number okay you could uh, ch search for any any project here okay here you can see the zero ad project uh here you can see the flag button the latest version uh provide a test check and full check is uh is uh, for um, only for admins now, but, but I yeah, want to a, add a new here. functionality uh, that will small, allow user um, to actually uh, uh, picture test here uh, changes, for the cost of the uh, defects before, being found on uh, different stages of edits. development, which basically uh, uh, justifies the um, motivation to test earlier. So basically, yeah, for uh, here, uh, if you find the issue the and the uh, design thing, project, uh, the, the design check. phase. Basically, we then yeah, any it's new version, taken as one, and then okay. IBM has calculated somehow the cost, um, basically, of uh, a bug fix 
um, when the bug was identified during the implementation. Here also the uh, because uh, this Provide. basically data Me. is um, um, have plenty of backend support. That backend is actually the platform where the uh, project is hosted. It could be uh, it could be anything. The most used is the GitHub. As I'm aware, you could uh, also have Pagur, PyPy, uh, Drupal. Uh, there is also so, some option to uh, to have your custom, as you can see here. The custom allows you to set a page that will be checked, as you can see here below. And you could uh, set uh, some uh, regular expression to use for the testing. You could see it here. This is the editation of the project. Uh, I will show you how much backends we are currently supporting. You could use anything that is here. Most of them are... That menu uh, does not show up in the screen share. Oh. The drop down is not, not showing. Yeah, I don't think the Firefox um, menu drop downs actually overlay inside of the window. So they're not being oh, captured okay. by your by the screen oh, share. Okay. Uh, nothing happened. Uh, we have uh, above, above around 20 supported backends, so you could choose from plenty of them. The version scheme allows uh, is uh, how you uh, tell the Anitya how to sort the versions. Uh, we have currently three the RPM, which is uh, which you, is used by most of the projects because it was the first one, and it uh, is the same that is actually used by the RPM packages. Uh, we also have uh, semantic support and calendar uh, scheme. Uh, the calendar scheme has some changes that uh, you could uh, uh, you could provide a pattern for the version that is uh, based on the calendar versioning uh, system. Uh, okay, we, here we have version prefix. Version prefix is actually just a part of the string that is uh, removed from the version before it is uh, sorted. Uh, so if you have uh, versions prefixed by V, you could just type V into version prefix and uh, the V will be removed before the sorting. Um, okay. There are two options here. They use insecure connection. There are some webs that uh, doesn't like HTTPS, so we allow you to just uh, bypass this. And the checklist that's released on submit is actually uh, check uh, doing the check uh, uh, after you submit the changes. I will not do this right now, so will not do any changes. Okay. So as admin, I have uh, ability to delete the projects, and here. Below, you can see the mappings. So you can see there are three federal mappings to 0 AD. Uh, this means that there are three packages that are uh, using, uh, that should be notified when this project has, uh, has new version. Uh, and there are auto distribution that are, uh, that are have, that have uh, any, any uh, mappings here. Uh, there are, I even heard that uh, some of them are even using the messages that are uh, that are emitted by Anitya and just uh, trying to use uh, something that is same to the uh, new hotness. Okay, so let's look. At the, there is um, a quick uh, reference to docs, so you could uh, look at the docs every time. I in the 1.0 milestone, I want to actually enhance the documentation because it's uh, pretty outdated right now. You can look at the, all the projects. Uh, as you can see, there are plenty of them, even just with the uh, with the numbers. Okay. Here is the list of distros. Uh, let's look at the open source. As you can see, there are three open source distribution. OpenSUSE, OpenSUSE Leap, and OpenSUSE Tumbleweed. Uh, we could actually look what is mapped to the to this distro, so you could check 
what uh, packages we actually have here. Uh, you could uh, you could add a new distribution through uh, this uh, f form that, that is linked here. Uh, just add the distribution name, and if uh, it's not there, you could add it. Uh, otherwise, if you creating a new mapping, uh, you will just uh, you will just uh, t take the distribution from the drop down. This is because we had plenty of distros that were just uh, typos of others, like Fedora or uh, Fedoran or something like this. Okay, the last uh, thing here I will show is the add the projects. You could uh, add project that is everybody who just have fast account or some open ID could uh, join here and uh, add their own project and just get uh, notifications for them by listening to the messages that uh, Anita is uh, emitting. Okay, let's go back to the... There's a question from the audience. Um, what does the default regular expression mean? Oh, okay, default regular expression. This is uh, in the... Okay, let's found some project it's uh, the regular expression that is used for uh, in uh, if in case you don't do don't have anything into regex if there is no nothing into regex it's used the default exp uh, ex uh, default regex so this is just uh, for you to use uh, to um, it should cover most of the cases, but if it doesn't, you can provide your own. Okay. Let's just return back to the... Here you can see some references. The slides are actually in the schedule. You could look at them. There is a link to the speaker deck and uh, you could look at them in uh, in quiet if this was too fast for you uh, i have few uh, links that here i want to sh uh, share the blog post for the race monitoring.org i'm writing uh, mm, i'm at least trying to write regular uh, blog posts about the race monitoring.org uh, there are 10 of them i'm trying to have them in the uh, in the magic kind of magic uh, world so uh, every one of them is uh, uh, based on the on some magic things it could be funny for some to read i even got uh, one response that it's uh, too difficult to read because of this but uh, it depends on the on the reader and uh, this is why i uh, probably you noticed in the recording i had the wizard head on so this is why i'm the mage from the release monitoring.org uh, the second link is for the release monitoring.org itself and then there are the repositories for the actual ap applications anitya and the new hotness uh, you could look at them we uh, welcome every contribution that you make it could be anything small or big we even had one contributor that uh, returned uh, for the Hectoberfest and finished one uh, pull request that was there for i think one year so it's nice to see that any anybody that is returning to the work to the land they uh, they know and this is actually everything from me so i thank you and if you have any questions, I think we have some time. Okay. I will look at the... Okay. Do we have any question? You could even uh, write it in the chat. <laughs> yeah, I have, a ch I have a question for you. Okay. 
how would you compare your project, for instance, with uh, Fossil, uh, Ripology, if you're aware of that project? Uh, okay. Uh, yeah, I'm aware of it. I'm, I was looking at it. Um, I didn't use it too much. I just look uh, at how it works. The main, uh, the main difference between uh, to verismontain.org and uh, other solution is that verismontain.org uh, provides you with the way to actually uh, create a custom Pro, custom project that with custom check so um, I didn't saw didn't saw this in any other project and uh, as I know that in the time the Anitya started to shape there wasn't any uh, anything uh, else that you could be used for this so Fedora created a own tool Thanks. Lubos in the in the chat is asking if there's some overlap for or some um, potential for co-op or leveraging uh, um, release monitoring for the back end of software.opensusa.org. Right. Um, Maybe let me let me okay. give you some like background why I'm asking. Like I'm currently the only official maintainer of the project and you know we have full backlog and nobody is developing these features. So you know if we could hook it up together or something that would be like you know it would ease up the pain on our side. Yeah I'm open open to any uh, uh, any uh, work together. So mm -hmm. yeah this is no problem. Uh, I even had someone from the open source community. I'm not sure who, uh, what it, it was, uh, I think one year ago, who wanted to uh, help with the new hotness and use the new hotness for open source packages. To so just, yep. The most interest currently based on the issues that we, we have open is on the search engine. So um, I will probably discover, you know, like what we can do uh, on your project and see if there would be, you know, if these features would be basically asking what you have that would kind of help up the decision making. Yeah, okay. This is uh, no problem. To, you could look at the Anitya code and look at what uh, we have and how we use it. So uh, it's actually open. So, <laughs> yeah, thank you very much. Cool. Yeah, uh, I see uh, some uh, note from from Brad in the chat. Uh, I really like this concept. Our package, uh, packages typically are stuck with their own methods of keeping track. Having a single source of truth would be handy. Uh, there is uh, one mm, not uh, really uh, bad thing uh, on uh, release monitoring, but or uh, but. Uh, there are some problems with the projects that are actually changing the version scheme or are some strange, uh, have some strange uh, uh, version conventions uh, hosting. Yeah, yeah, the version dimension, but the, even the hosting. Yeah, there are some projects that even the custom uh, backend couldn't uh, actually uh, found new version of. I saw a few of them. I even saw a few uh, projects that are that were actually used tags in GitHub uh, or, or in Git for something else than just releasing. So uh, it's hard to actually know what is the new version if you don't know the context, and uh, it's hard to provide the context to applications sometimes. So yeah, uh, if you can actually. Uh, want uh, if you can uh, create the project easily in the Anitya, if it's hosted on GitHub, it's mostly just uh, creating the project or on some on RubyGem on PyPy. And uh, if you see, uh, uh, if you will create it, it will just emit the messages. I there was uh, some request for to have uh, even uh, something else than just Fedora messages. But uh, I didn't have uh, time to actually look into it. 
but uh, it will be nice to have uh, something else uh, for someone outside the Fedora messaging. But uh, writing to consumer is not uh, that hard. There are good documentation for it. Yeah, um, I actually have a question for you, Michelle. Um, yeah. uh, so the OpenSUSE infrastructure operates off of AMQP. Uh, would it be possible to get um, Fedora messaging messages brokered onto the OpenSUSE broker for its infrastructure to do stuff with it? The, I, as I uh, know, the Fedora messaging is uh, Rabbit MQ, which should be built above the IMQP. Yep, so I it's think a, it's possible. We have Rabbit MQ in the Fedora in the inf OpenSUSE infrastructure as well. Okay, so I think it could be possible, but I'm not the one who working with the Rabbit MQ, so uh, it needs to be uh, directed to uh, our land Bombard or someone who is now who is working on the Fedora messaging itself, because they know about the setting of the of the Rabbit MQ. I'm not the one, the right guy to ask for this. Okay. Okay. Anything else? Okay. Okay, so it looks like uh, this is everything from me. I thank you for attending and uh, have a great day. Thank you, Michelle. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure if I will be here later. So if you want to uh, contact me, I'm usually on the free node in the Fedora Apps channel uh, in this, with the same nick. I have here. So, are you in the OpenSUSE uh, LibreOffice Telegram thing? No, I could join. Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, the I'll I'll drop a link into this uh, Jitsi chat for the for the Telegram chat. That way you can. Oh, okay. uh, that way you can uh, actually join in there, and if other other people want to reach out and ask questions. They can do so uh, outside of this Jitsi thingy. Yeah, okay. Okay. Yeah, I'm I'm doing it. <laughs> so thank you for the link. Uh, you could uh, see me on the in the Telegram group <laughs> now. There we go. Well, thank you all. Yeah, thank you all.